Hi guys and welcome back to another squad builder by myself, Bateson87, continuing the theme of the best possible national squad builders. We're doing Scotland. This was one of the most requested ones, along with Wales and Republic of Ireland, which will be coming in due course. So hold on to your tight under panties and stuffs, undercrackers, whatever you wear nowadays, whatever you cool kids wear, thongs. You might wear thongs, you might wear... Do people still wear the borat? Hmm, something I'm curious about. Sure, Ram. Anyway, first things first, guys. Go and check out FIFA Coins Online for your ultimate team coin needs. Their link is down below. Make sure you drop a like on their Facebook page as well. So let's get on in with it with this uh, best possible Scottish team. It doesn't feature a lot of special cards, but the team is really strong and enjoyable to use. So let's set up the parameters and get this motherfucking nation team built. So it's a 3-5-2 because of the centre-backs again. So in net we're going to go with Jilks. There is an informed goalkeeper, but unfortunately because of the situation with the market being down and stuff like that, there is none on the market. He is a 72 rated, so you can get away with either the informed form or this normal card here who plays for Blackpool. I'm going to pay like 200 coins for this guy anyway. In the centre back, in the direct centre back middle position, we have gone with Caldwell who plays for Wigan. 50 pace centre back, pretty pretty slow. Yeah, not going to lie, pretty slow. On the left hand side we've gone with an inform. We're going to go with inform Mulgrew. He is a 68 pace Celtic centre back. Um, there's a normal card there as you can see. He is a uh, uh, a 75 rate, but this 77 version goes really nice. On the right hand side, we've gone with another inform. It is a silver inform. He's worth over 100k. Quite a rare player. Uh, BPL 70 pace centre back. So that's the reason why his price is quite high because he's a BPL centre back. So we've gone with him on the right hand side. He gets a strong link with who we're putting at right mid as well. So in the two CDM roles, we have gone with on the left hand side Fletcher who plays for Manchester United and on the right hand side left hand side sorry we've gone with Dorans uh, 74 pace 74 shooting 64 defending's a bit low he's, he's originally a CM but we've converted him down because the of the uh, cam we've got instead I'm actually show you the cam now actually so the cam we've gone with is uh, none other than Charlie Adam uh, 62 pace a bit, a bit of a slow side but he's got decent shooting and decent passing so very nice link up uh, and to be fair this team with their long shots is ridiculous. Uh, I'll be definitely going over that with you lot uh, in the highlights we do have after this quick builder. On the left hand side it's the only silver of the team. Uh, of the No. No, it's the only silver left wing. Anyway, so we've gone with Commons. There is a team of the season version of Commons. He is uh, Cam, but unfortunately, if we had him at Cam, we would have McKay Stevens at left mid, which would cause the rating to drop, which is uh, also a reason. There is, I think there's a 79 and 78 rated Charlie Adam at right wing, but we've gone with someone else there. We have gone with none other than Snodgrass, the ex Leeds legend who now plays for uh, Norwich. Uh, informed version, he goes from a 75 to a. No, 75. 374 to a 77 gold in form. Um, there is also a silver in form which is worth a fuckload of money, but this one's quite cheap. Uh, I think we paid around 27k for this. So, with Charlie Adam being 77 and Snodgrass being 77, if we'd have had uh, in form Charlie Adam there at 79, we would have had to put a 74 rated team of the season Chris Common there and a McKay Stephen there. So it would have dropped the rating down. So that's the reason we've gone with this lineup uh, con compared to the ones which everyone else was linking me. Now the two strikers to finish off this team, we have Fletcher from Sunderland on the left hand side, 77 pace, really strong, really solid player um, f for his price, 350 coins, can't ask for much more really. I'm surprised how much I enjoyed this team. If you like, do have the coins, I definitely recommend you going out and giving it a quick purchase. It'll cost you in the region of around 200k with the informs, but if you wanted to get the normal cards, you would enjoy that as well. So moving on to the last person in the team, and you lot know who it is. It is a 70 forward Naismith. Um, he does get full chemistry because he's in the Premier League and he's Scottish and he links up with all the rest, so you don't have to convert him up to strike if you want to keep it a bit cheaper. So Naismith... Uh, just a standard little uh, little pacey player at 83 pace and 69 shooting. Um, 78 dribbling as well. Uh, fairly solid. And there we do have uh, Moyes as the manager as well. We don't usually put managers in, but it is a full chem, uh, solid, solid team. And there's only one, two players 
who are actually in the B in the uh, Scottish League, which is uh, Celtic, really. No Rangers players, which is a surprise. But hey ho, there we have it, guys. I'm not entering into any argument of Rangers and Celtic. That is my best possible Scottish team built. I hope you have enjoyed it. What I'm going to do now is show you the highlights from the games they play in the Gold Cup and uh, knocked out some subs as well. So I'll be back in a sec. So we're back guys and these are the highlights. Uh, honestly I had so much fun with uh, just smacking shots from outside the area. It's ridiculous. Somehow that first shot went in with Darren Fletcher and then it just continued. I just thought fuck it. The servers are back. Shit kids are about. Let's crack on and uh, smack some shots from outside the area. Charlie Adam had an insane shot. The whole midfield and strike force just felt really good. Really... Uh, it was like clicked. It, it was really strange. Uh, and I've not really felt that with many national teams I have used over this uh, current squad build, the trend I've been doing. Uh, a lot of them seem to be individual. But this team was like a unit, going forward as a unit, defenders as a unit, and uh, everything else as a unit. Apart from maybe touching each other's bumholes and shoving mobile phones in their ass. Who knows? You never do know. Um, so, in the future, with the best possible squads, you will have seen most of them on my channel anyway. I do have a playlist now if you haven't seen it. Uh, you'll be able to find them all in there. All the top nine have been done on the uh, trade, well, trade power watch list type thing. Uh, we're just doing a few nations which you lot request now. I do have... Uh, Wales, which is one going to be done in the future. Ireland as well. Maybe... Um, I've forgotten the other nations now. There was some more I've got written down in my notepad anyway, so they will definitely get uh, done before the end of FIFA 13. So guys, if you've enjoyed this Scotland squad builder, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed, comment in the section below about what you thought of the team, which players you'd rather see in there, and uh, until next time guys, see you all later.